Welcome. Steve Westmark, thanks for watching my video blog again this week. Um, I've decided to bring in a professional in the area of home repairs, and it's Tim Oberg uh, with Home Craft Services. So welcome, Tim. Good morning, Steve. Good to be here. Great. The vast majority of my sellers, when I meet with them about putting their home on the market, I recommend they get a home inspection. So, Tim, when inspections come back to sellers, what do you help them with in repairs on their inspections? Well, Steve, when an inspector presents the homeowner with a, an inspection list, uh, normally the homeowner will go through and say, well, a lot of these little items I can take care of. There's a light bulb out here. There's a, uh, maybe a little bit of minor painting needs to be done, done in this area. And typically there may be a handful of things that they do not want to do on their own. And a lot of times they'll call in uh, a contractor like myself to come in and say, we need to check for this plumbing leak or we need to repair uh, some stained ceilings or something like that. A lot of home, a lot of home potential home buyers like to come in and they'll look around and, and if they see some, some problems with the ceilings in particular, it, it can indicate a, a problem with, with leaking above at a bathroom or something upstairs. And that can be a quick turnoff. So some of those things need to be addressed. A lot of homeowners aren't comfortable dealing with that, that uh, much of a repair, scraping, filling, sanding the ceiling, that kind of thing. So that's where uh, we can help them out in, in a lot of those different areas. Well, sometimes, Tim, also we run into lots of different things, and I know I've had you do multiple types of things. What are some of the things that you uh, do to help sellers with their properties, getting them prepared? Well, Steve, a lot of times yeah, we see that it's the details that count. You come in and there's some trim that needs to be finished. I've done a lot of that. Kitchen cabinets. Kitchen is a real important area. So a kitchen cabinet, door faces sometimes can be redone. Uh, countertops, you don't necessarily have to go with a full new marble countertop or full kitchen remodel, uh, but just addressing the details. Some I did one recently here where just the, the wooden uh, cabinet faces needed to be restained and retouched up, give them a whole new look, and then re repaint some trim around the window that had flaked off, and it just addressed those details. It's the details that count. The other thing that <coughs> Uh, windows sometimes. Windows can fog up. You don't need to replace a whole window. Uh, being a licensed contractor, I, I work with a number of, of uh, subs, uh, so I can kind of be a one-stop shop. I can have uh, my glass guy come in and just replace just the, the glass sash that is, uh, the glass panel that is fogged up, and you get a, a brand new clean window without having to, re you know, tear out and replace the whole window for, you know, thousand dollars or more. So that helps the homeowners quite a bit. Many times as I work with buyers walking through properties, no matter where they're at, they'll horribleize an issue. And what I find by bringing Tim in to work on these issues is he takes the problem that seems so big and brings it down to a smaller solution that can save money. So with all that in mind, Tim, what would you uh, do that would be the three biggest return on investments that you could help a client with? off the top of your head? Well, I would say, Steve, that the, uh, the, the, the top three or four would be uh, investing in your kitchen. It's the first room that a lot of buyers will look at when they come in. Um, some of the details like we talked about before. Kitchens, bathrooms are another, another good place where you can get most, if not maybe sometimes more of your investment back and in what you put into, into touching up or remodeling your kitchen or bathroom. The other big plus you can get, gain some value is uh, maybe you've got a, a, a den or a, a office uh, room in your basement that you could convert to another bedroom. You could have put an egress window in, all of a sudden you've added another bedroom without major, without major add-on to the, to the house. So that's a good way to gain some value and, uh, and make it more uh, inviting to a potential buyer. Well, Tim, thanks for coming today. It's great to have a guy on my team that can help my sellers and even my buyers as they have inspections. And Tim, thanks so much for coming today. It's been great to be here. Thanks, Steve.